Hello YouTubers and welcome back. In this video we are going to discuss about the Adobe Photoshop software. Well, it is a digital graphics editing program produced by Adobe Systems. It is the leader for commercial bitmap editing and image manipulation. It is considered by many to be the industry standard for desktop graphics editing and is available for the Windows Mac operating system. But if you are using Linux system, you can use GIMP, G -I -M -P, GIMP for editing images. So the usage of Adobe Photoshop or the role of Adobe Photoshop in software engineering or web engineering is well as you know that Adobe Photoshop can be used for editing or designing images but Adobe Photoshop can also be used for logo designing too. Yes you can even create your own logo for your software or web application brand. Well usually people prefer Adobe Illustrator because Adobe Illustrator is made for logo designing or you can say specialized for logo designing. But you can also take a little bit help from Adobe Photoshop too. You can perform many tasks in Adobe Photoshop. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. So here we are. What we are going to do in this video. We are going to edit this image. We are going to remove the spots from her face. Okay. So let's close this and open Adobe Photoshop. I'm using Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. Now click on File, New. The short key of opening a new document is Control N. And I'm going to set the width by 750 to 600. And color mode must be RGB. Background color. Okay create here we are now I'm going to drag and drop the image like this and I'm going to make the image fit into the document now press enter yeah so the tools that we are going to use to remove these spots is the spot healing brush tool J we are going to use this tool to remove our spots and when we want to zoom in we are going to use this tool as you can see I am zooming into the image and if you want to zoom out you can press this icon and if you want to move the image you can press click on this hand tool or you can just simply press H in your keyboard and as you can see I'm moving the image okay and if you want to rotate the image you can just simply click on R see okay the rotate tool or the edge tool for moving the image now we are going to zoom in the image and we are going to use the spot healing brush tool the short key is J okay. and here's a message this smart object must be rasterized before proceeding added contents will no longer be available rasterize the smart object okay now I'm going to click on here yeah so as you can see that this spot has been removed just exactly the same we are going to do the same here yeah it's removed and here is the history tab if you are not finding the history tab here just go to window and click on history now it's hit hide and again go to the window and click on history and as you can see that the task that I have performed are getting removed or undo so when I click on here and just focus on here and when I'm going to use a tool it creates a new history 
okay so just do it again and h and j now here yeah it's gone again here okay and here has two now what we are having problem is that there's a spot here okay so we are going to use stamp tool just press alt here as you can see when i press the alt key in the keyboard it changes the cursor it means that we are going to copy paste the surface like press alt and press key now you can see that i'm just copying i'm just moving around with this surface so again press alt yeah and done so as you can see that the spot on this woman's face has been removed by the clone stamp tool and the spot healing brush tool now we are just going simply going to save it like this and click on jpg or you can select png and name it as intro here and save and click ok but if you want to quick export the image just simply go on to the file and export and quick export as png and then save here we are as you can see that the spot has been removed and here's the other image So I hope you understand this video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and if you are having any issue just simply comment.